so I had this Triceratops lying around the house for some time. It's a very cheap plastic Triceratops toy. I think I got from Target or Walmart. Um, and I purchased it a long time ago, actually, more than a year ago. And I told myself that one day I would paint it because it had some cool textures and it was very old school and vintage looking. So I told myself I would paint it eventually. I just never got around to it. So I decided to paint it today. Um, the you can see the color scheme is very simple. Um, so what I did was I just took it outside like my normal process and I uh, primed it with a basic uh, indoor primer, nothing special, just so that the acrylic paint sticks better because these are of course lacquered um, and protected when they leave the factory and such so that the paint doesn't stick to them very well. So you have to prime it or do something along those lines so that the paint sticks better. So as you can see, after it's primed, uh, at least to a point, it doesn't need to be perfect, just enough. Um, you can see a lot of the texture comes out after it's been primed, at least with the gray. So you get kind of a good idea of what you're working with, which is kind of nice. We needed to add just a little bit of character to this guy, so I chopped off the tip of one of the horns to make it seem like, you know, he's been around the block, you know, he's older, you know, maybe got in a fight with the T-Rex back in the day. Uh, and he lost part of his horn. Give him something to, a little bit of character to work with. And here's the paint scheme that I decided to go with. I loved the tan, the brown and red kind of being simplistic, but that blue I really fell in love with around the eye and around the face. So I got to play with a real bright blue on the face. And uh, I think it came out pretty well. And I started off with a just a, a basic uh, standard coat of yellow to kind of just bottom layer it, something bright that I could kind of work th from. Um, you know, I could have started with white or tan or something along those lines, but uh, yellow just seemed to fit. And then from there, I kind of worked up with oranges and tans and then kind of went up from there. And a lot of times I'll work with darker colors because I want the, I don't want to have to put a, a wet coat over it later. But um, in this case, I went and just started it with those tans and yellows and such. And then later I kind of got into those, those crevices. And then um, I wanted to make sure I got those lines in those, those detailed um, a kind of pattern on there early so that it might shine a little bit better through later. Um, almost hidden, like you gotta kinda look for it, but it's there. And I really wanted to start on that crest and get the brighter reds kinda starting to shine through. Kinda makes you wonder, you know, 65 million years, I would assume these animals were a lot like the animals of today, you know, where I would assume that crest would have been brightly colored to scare away predators or you know find mates or whatever, whatever it was so I worked with that quite a bit on this one the crest uh, ended up getting pretty bright but I think it kind of came out fun and then there's that bright blue I love that blue that blue came out really well it's probably too bright but it did dumb down as I dry brushed and, and such a little bit later And I decided to go ahead and put some brighter colors up on the crest at the top. I feel like a lot of the renderings of Triceratops have already showed, you know, almost brighter colors in the front, almost like eyes, something like that, you know, uh, not unlike the natural world where, you know, they have false eyes and different things like that. I would think that Triceratops may have been similar. Um, so I added some red to the mouth and then went underneath and started lightening up the belly um, just to make sure that it was tanner than the yellow.
and I decided to add a little bit more blue. I figured if I was going to put it up in the face, I should maybe put just a little bit more up along there. And uh, I'm glad I did because the I think it needed that more blue. It just wasn't enough. But I don't know. I guess the end result was ooh and ah, and I think I kind of got there. Once my basics, you know, my basic color I, coloring was down, um, and I, I kind of felt comfortable with it. At least, um, at least most of my coats, I started going in and getting more details uh, finished. You know, such as the eyes, uh, for example. And I did go with a yellow just because I felt it popped real well against that blue. And I went with more of a tan on the horns. And then I kind of went through it a little bit later and darkened them up just a little bit with some accenting. And on the mouth parts, I went ahead and put uh, more of a brown, you know, to that beak. I don't know if, what you'd call that, a beak, I guess. I don't know. I put a little bit more of a brown on there. I kind of used the same brown on the toenails a little bit later as well, uh, just to darken them up. And again, as I kind of gone through this I started adding more and more details um, in this case I added the red tipping to the crest uh, which came out real well and you can't forget about the eyes the pupils this one I went pretty basic I just put a little black pupil in there um, which worked fine. And this is the process in which I put a, a very very watered down black or darker color over it um, many times I'll do this in the very beginning opposed to the end but it kind of depends on the project in this case I decided to put it at the end um, and it works out fine I think one downside with with doing this at the end is you lose a lot of your color and um, so it's good and bad it kind of depends but you can see how it actually accents a lot of the detail so you're you're adding a, a deeper layer into all those crevices and it uh, really makes the image pop um, and it, it does work you just have to make sure it's nice and watered down so that you can kind of dab it off with a napkin and uh, it's a bit of a messy process but if you do it a few times it, the end result can be pretty well um, can be pretty good and it does take a few applications and again you could do this before or after it kind of depends again on your project uh, this one I did a few times I actually did it once then I did a dry brush and then I did it again at the very end uh, before I actually lacquered it with a matte gloss um, and this is the dry brushing technique where you're just kind of going over and accenting in this case I did a very light color over uh, just to get some of those bumps to pop um, and then after I was done with it I actually went back over it with some black and that helped kind of dumb down some of the white um, dry brushing on the back side I actually did dry brush 
heavy on purpose because I wanted to make it look like the animal had actually some coloration uh, to the back. Um, as you can see, the two lines. I, I don't know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Uh, but as I put a, a wet coat over it later, it seemed to fix some of the, the lighter colors. But I think overall it came out pretty neat. And voila, here's the end result. I put a matte varnish over it at the very end to protect it. And uh, I did put another wet coat over it before I did protect it. You can see it's not an amazing paint job, but it is a, a fun paint job. I didn't, uh, enjoyed doing it. And I hope you guys could do something similar. Go get yourself a cheap toy and repaint it. You'd be surprised how much fun you have. Uh, this one... I'm glad I cut off that horn. I think the character uh, looks looks better than it did before. Uh, and I love the red, the red pops and the blue. You know, something you'd see in the wild, you know, you know, get away from me. I've uh, been, been through it and uh, I think is overall, I think it came out pretty fun. Let me know what you think. In the comments, this was a pretty fast project, a pretty quick project and a pretty quick video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope I can bring you guys some other fun videos so let me know and show me your stuff link your stuff i want to see it and uh have a good rest of your week bye, -bye.